All right, and welcome back for another night of Davidson Warrior basketball. Uh, it's senior here night, senior night here. Um, coming out, playing against the Viger Wolves, and I think the girls have a tough game ahead of them. Um, we saw both teams warming up. Both looked really loose tonight, um, ready to play. Yeah, I agree with you, Steven. Uh, I'd say Davidson, the girls, they've been phenomenal this season. Uh, I feel like they got this one in the bag. But uh, Viger, they, I feel like they, they, they have a possible. There was one player in particular that we were watching, and she was hitting some some difficult shots. So let's see what uh, Davidson's all about tonight. Coming out here with our starting lineups. I think we'll see for our starting five uh, a lot of the seniors. Yeah, uh, yeah, 100%. Senior night, there's no way all of the seniors can't be starting this game. Huh? And as I finish writing the Viger starting lineup here, very, very big team. Lots of ladies. Um, something Davidson doesn't have. Not a lot of um, names on their lineup here. But um, we've seen them be able to even rotate through their bench effectively enough to where they're not playing tired at any part of the game, even if they're playing fast-paced ball like they always do. Oh, yeah, I, I agree with you. Uh, their, their conditioning is really well, and – Half of the time that there's no, uh, half of the time the ladies don't get tired, and they're great on rotation. They are great in uh, coming in and out of games really quickly. Really, I expect this game to be more or less a battle of speed versus strength. Really, just if the fast pace, the fast pace of the Warriors can actually beat the strength and size that Viger has on them. Warriors win the tip. Open shot, not good, but saved by Ava. All right, and here comes Viger, moving down the court. He'll kick it back out. She's gonna drive in. This is a great Davidson defense that we've been seeing, smothering the paint. Allowing, not allowing these girls to get inside whatsoever. Just containing Viger on that perimeter. They'll continue to pass that ball around. Here comes a shot. No good. Kaylin Ayler on the rebound. <laughs> Quinn will toss it in to Cristal Malden. She'll put a layup up. No good. Get it off the glass, and her second chance will fall. Nice opening score there for Davidson. Yeah, Davidson's doing pretty good right now. They're passing the rock, find, trying to find the open man. And, oh, fast break by Davidson. Pass to Kalen Ayler. That's good. They'll give her the and one. Nice play by Avi Diouf there to see the open lady down under. Um, but even better still just to get the ball back. And that's what Davidson's been good at all season. Those hustle plays, offensive rebounds, getting the steal on the break. 
think Viger will take a timeout here and probably not the start they wanted. Um, only down 4-0, but just a dominant-looking Davidson team so far. Yeah, that's what uh, that's one thing Davidson's really good at, and that's coming out strong in the beginning. And they are really good at holding leads as well. They never really let a lead slip from under their hands. Ayler with a free throw here. It's good. Just under seven minutes left in the first quarter. Viger rushing down the court. A Call it a back court, I think. Yeah, they wanted an over and back, but I think they'll call Ava Diouf on a on a reach in there. Travel there by Howard. Ran into a nice block by Kalen Ayler. And Davidson still just looking dominant. Yeah, they're staying in front of these players. These players have nowhere to go. And uh Viger's gonna have to come up with a game plan on how to get around them. Ava Diouf on the inside, a nice play there, and she'll tell the Viger um, Wolves that they're just too small. Drive in from Viger, no good. Tough foul there for Ava Diouf, and um, not a whole lot of, uh, you know, inside presence from Viger. Davidson really just containing them to the perimeter. Yeah, and just Viger really can't handle this defense, like like not even the tiniest bit. It's like they're trying to adjust, but they don't seem to have it going right now. Another still by Davidson. They'll chunk it down for Chiana Quinn, racing to get the ball. Miracle throw there, not what she wanted to do, and Viger will get the ball right back. But a misplaced throw will give Davidson the ball. Yeah, this game right now is very fast-paced. Oh. Uh, Viger, they're making very simple mistakes right now. Davidson, they aren't committing that many mistakes uh, so far, and it's working out in their favor. And as Viger subs out number 10, Howard really looks to be the leader of the team. Um, but Davidson, like we said before, has, has just been able to shut her down so far tonight. Shiana Quint, or excuse me, Ava Duf down under, and she'll, she'll take two here. First free throw is good. This um, team we've seen all season has been able to hit their free throws, and I think it's really helped them just be able to build leads early in this game. And building leads early can really just help you, you know, kind of keep up your pace of play throughout the whole game. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, hitting free throws is definitely necessary. And uh, let's talk about that rebound. That was a good rebound. And uh, – Passing it back into the inside man. Yeah, and then the, the mate, too. Good defensive play there from uh, Quinn, able to get both hands on the ball. Something Davis has been good at all year is setting the tone of how they want to play during during the game. They come out aggressive. They, they want to dominate you, and they make that felt every single second of the game. <laughs> oh yeah, I completely agree with you, Kenyon. Davis definitely wants other teams to know that they're not playing around. They uh they they definitely set how they want this game to be played, and if you can't keep up with them, you got to make some adjustments. Definitely living up to the warrior name. And that will be an over and back, and we see a very loud Davidson bench and uh, crowd behind the bench. You know, uh, definitely helping to just you know. Hurt the minds of that Viger team. Three's no good. Yeah, that bench is doing pretty good so far. You know, you gotta you gotta support their seniors tonight. 
and the seniors are doing really good so far. Foul there, that'll give Viger their first free throws of the night and um, they'll hope to get their first points with about four minutes, 40 seconds left. That one's no good. Second one, also no good. Rebound from Ava Diouf. As she'll move the ball on the court. She'll kick it back out to Kristan Ballin for three. No good. A Jessam on the rebound. Bobble around, but she'll get it. There's a corner three from Chiana Quinn, and that one will fall. Yeah, Davidson's really dangerous when those threes start falling. But before the three and everything, just the hustle they had on that play, two offensive rebounds in a row. Yeah, and a, a really bad forewarning for Viger. Um, once this Davidson starts to hit their threes, they are not afraid to take them. And um, like Robert said earlier, um, we'll probably see a lot more of that tonight. Yeah. Took too long on the inbound there, and Davidson will just continue to keep possession of this ball. Here's a deep three from Malden. No good. Viger will end up with the ball. Poke play there from Ava DeYouth. Man, these seniors tonight, they are on one. They are hustling. They are smuggling all these Viger players. Now let's see if Davidson can keep playing like this for the rest of these quarters. Running through a lot of contact there. She'll get a call. Yeah, these girls, aren't, they aren't afraid to get physical this game. They, they're they going for any possible reach they can to get a steal. Yeah, and never really seen a doubt of, of these girls' willingness to get physical. We've seen them play tough throughout every game this season. Um, we'll see our, our Davidson's first sub in the game. They'll sub in number 12, Morgan Barnett, for Gianna Quinn. Layup there's no good. Ava Diouf, she'll take a three. No good. Nice pass to Kaylin Ayler. She'll take a three from the same spot. Also no good. Crystal Malden with the rebound again. Davidson's gonna take a second to restart. They'll give it to Jessam for the three. That one's no good, but again, Crystal Malden on the <laughs> rebound. Oh, and just a missed pass there. Couldn't keep the ball in bounds. And, uh, that looks like to me the girls are just having fun tonight. Yeah, yeah I almost uh, felt myself with the won't go. <laughs> yeah, Viger wants to win this game. They have to start trying to control the glass. They, they gave up what seemed to be, what, four or five offensive rebounds in the row. Just some you can't allow to happen. And, and just the first time we've seen a crack in this Davidson defense just allowing Howard to drive in and pierce through that perimeter and get an easy layup there. Out of bounds call. Um, that'll get Viger the ball back with just under three minutes left in the first quarter. Another layup for Viger. She'll get it. Oh, but they'll call her for a travel. Took one too many steps there. Oh, man. Nice break for Davidson. Going to have to continue to work on keeping Viger out in the perimeter where they just don't look as comfortable. Yeah, I agree with you, Steven. Barnett will feed it to Malden. And she'll take the shot. That was a that was a nice setup for her to get inside. 
Shoved her out the way a little bit. Nothing wrong with using that shoulder. Yeah, just backing them down. There's a three. Off the top of the backboard. Morgan Barnett bringing it down the court. She's going to make a move to drive in. Uh, took one too many steps. Here comes Viger again. Kaylin Ayler just leaning a bit over the back. Davidson playing a man-to-man -man here. Howard will drive in a layup no good and another foul from Davidson will give Viger two shots. And it, it seems as though Viger is, is just letting number 10 Howard have the ball and try to do whatever she wants. And it hasn't been working so far for them. Just so, some crazy shot selection we've seen so far. Yeah, I agree with you. It's because of, like we've been saying, this Davidson defense is, they're smothering them in the paint right now, causing them to take some wild shots that they probably shouldn't be taking. Just another thing, another thing. They haven't been able to make their free throws at all. It's like they get a foul, but they can't convert in the slightest bit. But they'll make that one. Here's Quinn, almost wanted to take the shot from the corner, couldn't get it up in time. But she'll kick it to Kaylin Ayler. She's gonna drive in on the baseline. Floater, no good. Viger on the rebound. They'll fly down the court. Lost the ball there. Good play by Jessam. Bringing it back across. Misplaced the pass, but able, still able to get it to Ava Duf. Her layup, no good. Rebound by Crystal Malden, and she'll get the layup. That was nice. I'm surprised no foul was called. Yeah, a lot of contact, but able to fight through it and, and finish the layup. Big pass there. Davidson able to get a hand on it. Chiana Quinn open. She's going to put up a layup. No good. Viger. Nice pass as Howard will put... Two more on the board. Just under 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Davidson will probably try to hold on to the last possession. Yeah, both both teams have been playing pretty fast so far. But uh, it's working out in Davidson's favor. They're able to control and dictate the pace of this game. They're making D Viger play fast, which Viger probably doesn't want to do. We'll hit 10 seconds on the clock. Kick it out to Chiana Quinn. Corner three. No good off the iron. It'll fall out of bounds. Two seconds left. Davidson will hang on to the ball. I think they're aiming for Denisa Jessam here, a resident three-point shooter. Or they'll kick it into Cristal Malden. That's a nice layup to end the quarter. And a, a good play there on the inbound. I agree. Let's take a quick second to shout out all the Warrior students that came to tonight's game, which is his very shocking to me considering tonight is the first mobile parade for Mardi Gras. Yeah, and uh, some would say even more important, the Nelly concert. Ah, I agree with you. Um, sad to miss out, but definitely glad to come out here and, and um, watch our girls play tonight. Um, a lot of discussion there in the Viger huddle. Um, don't know if maybe they're going to try and put in some, some new people who can, you know, look more comfortable on the perimeter, able to put up more shots. Um, maybe not people who have to get inside when they're not able to. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, I agree with you, Steven. I feel like Viger definitely needs a better defense around the, around the perimeter because they're able to drive in very, very easily. And even with that, Davidson has some really nice shooters. So 
Viker has to find a way to either trap Davidson or have to find some way to like make them miss most of their shots. Really, Viger needs bigger bodies on the glass. A main reason why they're losing this game is simply because they can't get the board, a board on offense and or defense, really. Yeah, we've seen that all night tonight with possessions with three offensive rebounds from Davidson. Whistle here from the ref. Maybe just needed a little bit more of a break. <laughs> we'll come in with another inbound. <laughs> the feed in to Kristal Malden will get intercepted by Viger. Lost the ball there. They'll say it's Davidson's. Davidson's had some great ball movement, but they, they still have to pay attention to what's happening on the court so they don't uh, turn it over. Yeah, I can't lose focus of the little things which is what got you ahead so far in this game. Shot there from Quinn, no good. Nice steal from Avery Diouf, able to get her hand in there. Davidson will look to reset that offense. Hail Mary to Chiana Quinn in the corner. Again, no good, just off that back iron. Her shot hasn't been able to fall tonight, but she's still not afraid to shoot it. And with a lead this big, you, you can't really can't be. You just gotta be able to work through until you can start hitting them. Um, just don't let yourself lose sight of, you know, like we said earlier, how you got that lead. And another sloppy play from Davidson. Nice, nice block, block from De Nisa Jessam. Kayla Naylor, no one with her except one lady who will foul her and give her the and one. Nice play from Davidson. Kind of saw a little bit of a slump there, not, if not for long. Um, just, just got to, you know, get out of that here with the, this free throw. Yeah, slumps really don't exist for the girls, uh, for the Lady Warriors, at least to me, because their slump is just missing like two shots and then making it up on defense and then making an and one. Yeah, just, just showing how dominant of a team they are. Three there from Viger. That's good. And another sloppy parry from Davidson. That's just stuff you cannot have happen. You've got to be able to inbound the ball without mistakes. Just a, just a general loss of focus there. I, I don't really don't know what happened, but I guess it's just a lapse of judgment. And Malden got a hand on her head there, I think. Viger will take two. And now we do like the aggressiveness from Davidson, but they, they might have to tone it down a tad bit so not that many fouls will be called. And they won't put Viger into a bonus. No good. Second one also no good. Bobbled inbound there. Viger will retain possession. Howard again trying to drive in. Layup there, no good, but no Davidson person there to get the rebound. Kalen Ayer will end up with the ball. Davidson will take a timeout, and I think a much needed timeout. Um, just letting these girls have a break for a second and, and try to regain their composure. Now we're seeing Davis is not grabbing that many rebounds this quarter. Well, maybe because I wouldn't say they're getting sloppy, but they're slowing down a tad bit. Maybe they played a little bit too aggressive in the first quarter and they're getting a little tired. But uh, Davis is going to recover. I can see that. Yeah. Um, they definitely need to uh, if they hope to you know, maintain this lead they've ma amassed so far. And uh, Coach Chip t definitely telling his girls, you know, just – Get back to what we were doing before. Um, can't, can't keep committing those sloppy mistakes. Oh 
Barnett. She's going to kick it out to Ayler. Barnett with the three there. No good. Nice rebound from Crystal Malden. She'll try to bounce it off a of Viger player, but she will bounce it off the Viger player. Davidson will get the ball. Nice was, play there from from Crystal Malden. Yeah, that was really smart. Three there, no good. Here comes Viger. Ooh. Howard stopped before Diu thought she would. Yeah, that's a that's a weird foul to call in my opinion, considering she was mid crossover and Ava didn't know she was going to do that. So, yeah, but I I think with a a call like that, you're going to go on the offensive side every time. Just under six minutes left. Rebound from Ayler. Crystal Malden, nice shot there and a great feed from Denisa Jessam, just able to find that open lady. And uh, like we said earlier, Viger has really just attempted to let Howard try and control their game and it hasn't worked out how they wanted to. The Viger players were looking for a travel. Three's no good. I think the refs saw she kept a toe on the floor. Feed there from Howard. That was a nice pass on the inside. Yeah, no look right there. She's going to drive in and a beautiful move. Um, you know, just snaking right through that Viger defense and able to put up an easy layup. Shot from Viger. That one's good. Even with a hand in her face. Okay. Yeah, nice little uh, you know, stop and stop and shoot there. As you know, this is game is starting to actually go back and forth now. I think Viger's starting to get everything together. Actually figure out how to score and maybe they can find themselves back in this game. Baseline jumper there from Ayler, no good. Howard just bulldozing down the court. Davidson able to get a hand on it, but they'll lose it. And a nice shot from Viger. Viger is going on a, a small run right now. Let's see if Davidson can contain that. Here's Crystal Malden with a silencer. No good. Block there by Kalen Ayler, that'll give uh, um, Viger two. And I know you said we don't ever see this Davidson team in slumps, but I gotta tell you, I think we're seeing a little bit of a slump right now. Well, I hope I didn't jinx him. Um, but still three minutes and 40 seconds to, you know, get out of this, um, you know, little hump and, and just get back uh, to what you were doing before. Yeah, we can see Viger probably made a couple of adjustments. They're pro probably getting used to this physicality that the Lady Warriors are giving to them right now. We'll see number 14, Zadia Johnson. And number 32, Scott. Morgan Barnett, she'll lose the ball. Viger gonna put up a layup there. They'll call it for a charge. Nice play there for Morgan Barnett. I think Coach was telling her that they, she needs to slow down just a tad bit, moving a little bit too fast. Yeah, can't let yourself get too panicked here. Scott able to hold on to the ball. And two ladies there, but somehow neither of them ended up with it. Um, 
just another mistake there. Yeah, I noticed that Viger is starting to starting to clog the paint a little bit. So we have to see either Davidson's going to call a timeout or we'll see uh, at the start of the second half if Davidson can adjust to that. Yeah, definitely seen a lot more Viger presence inside that three-point line, which is what I think Davidson was trying to prevent. A uh, good break there for Davidson. Um, so Davidson's just going to have to figure out a way to, you know, adapt to the adapting Viger offense to, you know, just continue to keep them out of the, the out of the paint. Zadia Johnson, she'll have the ball knocked out of her hands. Davidson with the inbound. Two and a half minutes left. Drive by Morgan Barnett, no good, but she'll get two shots. Nice play there, able to draw the contact. And uh, with Davidson have not been able to hit a shot, um, in, in a while. That's a, a good play for Morgan Barnett to be able to draw the contact and, you know, slow it down and get two free throws here, which hopefully she can hit. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, like we saw in the first quarter, Davidson was playing fast paced. They were dictate, dictating the pace of the game. Uh, right now, I wouldn't say Viger's having their way, but they're starting to slow down Davidson, so Davidson needs to find another game plan and make Viger play at their pace again. Both free throws good for Barnett. Here comes Viger. They'll feed it inside. Pass is no good. And um, we see number 10 out of the game for Viger. And we saw right there a slowdown in the pace of play, which allowed Davidson to kind of regain their composure and play that defense we've seen them play all night. Um, hopefully they can, you know, just continue to play like this while number 10 is out of the game. Shauna Quinn here. She's going to feed it across to Morgan Barnett. Layup just barely no good, but Zania Johnson with a nice rebound. Put back is no good. I would say Davidson's key thing is ball movement with another charge being called on Viger. Yeah, amazing play there from Zadia Johnson, able to just set her feet and, and get that call. And Jessam bringing it across half court. Morgan Barnett will fake the pass. Scott will feed it to Quinn. Did a little hop step there. That'll be a travel. And uh, Davidson maybe just trying to contain the ball for as long as they can, um, just to maybe get into halftime, um, let their girls rest for a little bit. Here comes Viger. They'll drive in. Another charge and just amazing plays from Davidson. Um, and it's like we said earlier, you have to find ways to adapt to when an offense is, is starting to beat you. And we, I think they found their, you know, um, what they've got to do with that Viger just continuously driving in and driving in. You, you find moments where you can just set your feet and take the charge. Yeah, they've been lucky with uh, not being in the restricted area every single time and getting, like, perfectly good charges. Deep three there, no good. And um, Morgan Barnett, she'll feed it out to Quinn. Three, also no good. That ball go out of bounds, Viger ball. And I don't know if in high school ball they have a restricted area because I don't see any paint. Maybe they do. Maybe I'm wrong but I don't see anything marking it. So just another reason why they're able to get so many charges. Oh, 
They'll call a blocking foul on um, Denisa Jessam. And, and that'll give uh, number three, Deanne, one. Yeah, this Vigers run is, is pretty impressive after being down big in the, in the first quarter. Here comes the shot. That one's good. Just under 30 seconds left here in the half. Davidson definitely needs to go into the half with a score. They'll kick it back out to Scott. She's going to drive in. Nice layup there, able to, you know, just lay that ball in the hoop. And eight seconds left. Viger's got to drive down the court to score. Fumbling a bit with the ball. She's got one second left. An amazing defense from Davidson, just not letting Viger have a chance to take a shot as they go into halftime here. And uh, I think we saw a, a great way for Davidson to end this half after a bit of a, a rough second quarter. But um, I think we'll let you guys, t unless you guys have anything to say. Uh, I don't have anything to say, but I would say that Davidson did end that quarter how they wanted it to. All right, we'll, we'll see you guys uh, at the start of the second. My favorite moment from this season was at the Bryant game. I had just got it in. I had hit a three already. Then we came down the court and Zion drove to the middle. He kicked it out. I caught it. It felt good. I shot it and I hit another one. Um, my favorite moment as a Warrior was when we played Baker in the playoffs against uh, at home against Baker. Wait, no, we played at Baker against Baker and we won uh, by like 20 points. This is my sophomore year, and we played real good, and I had 10 points, and that was my favorite moment. My favorite moment was when we went to double overtime in the Theodore game, and we got the win. My most favorite moment came from this year. I think we played, yeah, we played Vaga, and I was in the corner, and I shot the ball, and I heard somebody in the background said I missed. And so when I shot it, I knew I made it, so when I made it, I looked, I looked at them, I turned around, and it went in, and everybody was cheering. My favorite memory from high school is when I hit my three-pointer to send us into overtime with McGill after they beat us at state school. And we ended up winning in overtime, and yeah. Okay, so my favorite moment was when we went to the Final Four in Birmingham and first walking into the gym was just a great moment to experience. I would say my favorite moment would be when I shot the three in the girl face when we played Baker. My favorite moment had to be uh, the first game of the season we played Faith Academy. I had a career high of 27. Uh, my most memorable game was the second Theodore game. We had just beat them the week before by seven. So we knew they were going to come out and play hard. So we played them at home and we went into double overtime, but we got the win. My most memorable game was when we played Theodore at home in double overtime. And we just had a tough fight, but we ended up with the win. My most memorable game was probably the first game of the season against Faith. I had got in and I hit a victory. My most member game, it was my first game ever. I was in 10th grade playing varsity, and I got in, and I hit a three, and everybody was just happy for me, and it made me happy too. My most memorable game was probably the MGM game because it was my high score game. 
and I really dislike MGF, so yeah. Um, my most memorable game probably will be ninth grade when we played Viagra at home, and I probably say it was like third quarter. I got hurt, and that was a terrible pain, but it changed me as a player. Um, coming back from recovery, um, pushing harder to become a better player for these next two years, and now I'm a senior. I would say that's my most memorable game. Mm -hmm. My most memorable game will have to be when we won against Theodore for the regional championship. Uh, my most memorable moment had to be when we played Theodore and regionals and my former teammate do a behind a head pass assist to me. My future plans, I want to go to college and study mechanical engineering and then eventually become an engineer. And then my, fa my future plans for after uh, high school is to go to college, uh, maybe at University of Mobile and start playing basketball again so I can start working and just go from there. And my future plans, I want to go to college and eventually become a dentist. And my future plans, I plan on um, going to a two-year college first and get my name to train now and then go to a four-year university and then get my name trained now. Then, you know, carry on from now. Maybe I can be a superstar in the NBA somewhat. My future plans are I want to major in psychology at Troy University or Fisk University in Nashville, Tennessee and continue playing basketball. My future plans, I um, plan on attending Alabama and m majoring in physical therapy. Um, basketball is something I'm still thinking about, but um, right now um, I know my career is physical therapy. And I would like to continue my academic career at Alabama and m University majoring in kinesiology. I might want to play basketball, but I don't know right now. I'm not sure what college I want to attend yet, but I am going to continue my basketball career. All right, and welcome back to the second half of the Warrior versus Wolves ladies game. And um, Davidson didn't look as good as we wanted them to uh, during most of that second quarter. Definitely not as dominant as they were in the first. What do you think Coach Ship was telling his girls to, you know, get them to come back out and uh, make their return to form? Uh, they're definitely telling them to s slow down. Uh, we saw in the first quarter that they were playing playing fast, but it worked out in their favor. Second quarter, they were still playing fast, but they were ending up making simple mistakes. Uh, and they were kind of in, in a drought uh, a tad bit. But uh, we can see if Davidson can turn around in the second half. Yeah, number number 10, Howard, has been a problem for them all night. Um, there's the pass there, and that one will fall. Now, I would say Viger's shot has definitely ended up falling. It it took a minute for them to, to start making the proper plays, but it's been working out. Yeah, and a nice play by Deuce there. Able to draw contact, but still make the shot. And a little taunting with uh, those push-ups that she did on the court. Second shot. That's good. Just insanely fast driving down that court. Not able to finish the shot. Now this might be a stretch, but Howard reminds me of a prom Russell Westbrook. You know, sprinting down the court and either get, getting a shot to the open man or, or taking it herself. Yeah, just a lot of speed. Um, there's a deep three. In and out, no good. Yeah, and one thing the Warriors need to watch out for is this Viger offense is actually starting to come a lot. They're getting way Corner three here. No good. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, this Viger offense has really started to come back alive towards the end of the second quarter. Yeah, and we see here layup, a lot of contact. Good catch by our cameraman, Jaden. Um, 
But, yeah, like you said, just seeing this offense uh, with a bit more life in them. Now, Ava was also doing a good job of getting in a paint. She's definitely not afraid of, of getting of getting hit or getting slapped on the wrist or, or even getting held. Uh, but she, she's doing pretty good so far. Yeah, sub here for Viger. Definitely not afraid of contact. And um, really good at being able to finish that contact anyway and, and just making our shots fall. Both free throws good. And it's like we said early on in this game, this Davidson team is just really good at hitting their free throws. Here goes that smothering defense that we saw in the first quarter. Nice play from Howard. Ayler. She'll pass it. There's a three. That's good. Yeah, I bet she was waiting for her shot to be falling all night. Bad pass there from Viger Davidson to get the ball right back. Play there from Howard. She'll get it right back to Davidson player. Three there. That's good. Denisa Jessam with the shot. That's exactly what you love to see. The shot's starting to fall after this major slump they went on in the second quarter. Weird pass there from Viger Davidson to get the ball back. She thought She's she going to kick it to Ayler. She's going to take a three. Just high off the backboard. They'll call Shiana Quinn for an over the back. And uh, Davidson definitely feeling the momentum here. Yeah, that Viger player thought she was fouled. She uh, got a little upset, caused her to just throw the ball behind her, not paying attention at all. Yeah, that was strange. And that just goes to show how even tiny mistakes like those can just lead to a huge change in how the game is being played with another mistake there from Viger. Just under six minutes left. They'll feed it into Diouf, or excuse me, Malden, and she'll take the contact there. Davis is doing what they do best, and that's getting inside that paint, taking contact, and even making a shot. Think about it, a near 20, no, now over a 20 point lead at this point. I think the, the girls are just starting to get back in the form now. Free throw, no good, but a nice rebound from Duth. Another shot, no good. No call, a jump ball. And a uh, new player in for Viger. Haven't seen her yet. Just Viger probably trying to contain uh, Malden and, and Duth uh, in the paint. Now it's Davidson's possession. There's a little confusion on the court. Here comes the inbound. Get it into Jessam. Floater's no good. Howard, again just driving down the court. She'll hit the layup. Yeah, if Davidson only had one problem in this game, it'd be their defense on Howard so far. Really nothing they can do to stop her on how fast she is. They'll call Ayler for a double dribble. D double dribble, excuse me. Yeah, that pass was a little low. Caused her to accidentally dribble the ball and drop it again. And uh, we, I've seen tonight um, 
that Howard has really just moved to her right continuously this game. If Davidson could just get a lady um, around that corner, it could probably slow her down quite a bit. Wasn't ready for the pass there. Good steal there. She's gonna, she'll be fouled on the drive there. Probably a smart play there from Viger, just able to stop that fast break. I agree with you. Davidson's fast break is is really something different. They have speed, and it's kind of hard to keep up with half of our players. They'll kick it out to Ayler. Malden in the corner, she's gonna drive in. She'll put up a shot, no good. Viger with the rebound. Howard driving in, hit her own player. Able to hold on to it though. Nice steal from Ava Duf, she's gonna go up. And an easy layup there. Good play by Ava Duf. She has great uh, court awareness. She was following that ball the entire time while Howard had it and she was able to get the steal. And another charge, Davidson with just amazing plays um, defensively, just trying to contain Howard. Yeah, Morgan's not afraid to, to set her feet in and get tackled almost. Just under four minutes left in the third quarter. Barnett will feed it into Cristal Malden. She'll be fouled. And like we said earlier, Davidson just able to draw so much contact. Shot no good. Got to be able to hit those free ones. Second shot, that one will fall. Viger slowing it down a little bit just to pick it right back up. And nice move from Howard. She'll feed it out. No good. Here comes the youth. She'll kick it out to Ayler. She's going to take a corner three. Bang! That's nice. Davidson's getting their way as they normally do. Timeout Liger. Yeah, an amazing play there to, you know, just kind of silence that, that Viger team just a little bit more. Just continue their domination so far. Yep, and with how good the girls are playing so far, in the next couple next couple days, the girls 7A playoffs are about to begin with Baker going up against Davidson and MGM's going up against Bryant. Yeah, Davidson going in as a one seed. Um, just saw like just playing how a one seed should play right there. I agree with you, Steven. Let's see if uh, they can go farther as they did last year. You know, they came up a little short. They didn't win state. But this year, I, I can see them winning. Yeah, definitely a lot of talent on this team. And uh, definitely a high set bar. Um, to go farther would mean winning the state championship. So, uh, but I, I think this team's up to the task and they're not afraid to, you know, say that they can do it. Inbound. Davidson just pressing. Ayler able to get the ball. She's going to just move the ball back out to the perimeter. They'll feed it around. Here comes Dew from the corner. No good. Rebound by Viger. 
Davidson just playing full court and able to get another stop. Here comes Malden. That layup's good. Now Howard does get a little sloppy with the dribbles. And it causes Davidson to get some steals, but that's working out in Davidson's favor. Yeah, and, and Howard just moves so fast that sometimes uh, I feel like she's almost moving faster than the ball, I'm just not able to hold on to it. Here's Malden. She'll get it to Barnett from the top. No good. Again, Barnett. She'll get called for a travel. A lot of contact from Viger knocking her over, but. Here comes Viger on the inbound. Good nice block, block there. Rebound after rebound from Viger until they'll be called for a travel. Nice, nice defensive play there from Davidson, just able to contain them. Crystal Malden from the inside. That one's good off the glass. Yeah, Davidson's definitely having their way right now. Nothing happening on the shot there. It's like she she's trying to like will this team in by herself, but it's it's just not working. It's just calls dumb dumb, uh, dumb shot selection. Yeah. Nice catch by Malden. Ava Diouf. A little bit too much footwork. She'll could be called for a travel. Nice play by uh, Jess. I'm able to get her hands on the ball. I don't know if this is just me, but this score definitely was not like that a couple minutes ago. Uh, we were only they were only down by like, uh, like eleven, by like eleven, and then next thing you know, they're they're almost up by twenty. <laughs> well, uh, I hate to break it to you, Robert, they're almost up by thirty. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. I just realized <laughs> that. <laughs> Morgan, she'll kick it out to a Jessam. Corner three. No good. Viger rebound. It's a two on one. I don't know if anybody told you this, Steven, but you sound like Peter Griffin in that one Family Guy episode when they were playing that retro basketball game. Corner three. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, Robert. Is that, is that, is that where you get your inspiration from? No, I've never seen that. Uh, all right, Stephen. Mind you, this is our co-host, Robert, that's bullying Stephen for no good reason. Oh, really. I, I wouldn't say it's bullying, you know. Just a just, tiny bit of just, harassment. Just, just light heart joking. You know? We'll talk about this after the broadcast. <laughs> First free throw, no good. Second one, also no good. Um, see some new faces in here for Davidson. Number 22, Mackenzie Brackett. Deep three there, and that one will fall. And uh, we've heard it many times this season. I think that's what they call a heat check. Uh, um, just, just a beautiful shot. Makes you know they're going to start pulling up from half court. I wouldn't hate to see it.
They'll call a blocking foul on uh, Jessam there. Three seconds left for Viger to get um, get a shot off. She's got to get it in. She'll get into it, a Davidson player. Just a little late on the shot. It was close, though. Uh, I wouldn't say close, but, you know. From my perspective. <laughs> but uh, as we go into this fourth quarter, um, just hard to even remember um, that slump Davidson had in that second quarter. Um, just doesn't even look like they've missed a beat this whole game. And uh, that whole third quarter, they really didn't. It was just bucket after bucket and then stop after stop with, uh, I think, Viger only scoring seven points this quarter. So um, just really nice play from Davidson. Yeah, I agree. Uh, that second quarter slump just, just ceased from existence now. And they're just looking forward and winning this game since we're going into the last quarter. Really, if I was a betting man, I'd say this game is about over right now. But Fortunately, you are underage, so we don't. None of that happens here. Yeah, the uh, the David the Davidson Warriors do not support underage betting. That is illegal, guys. You do not need to indulge in such actions. We do not endorse such actions. Huh. Isn't that right? Robert, you're awfully quiet over there. Uh, I, I agree. I definitely don't uh, indulge in such activities. I don't know. You seem a mighty bit suspicious on this one. Huh? Golly. Yeah. I, I heard a call backboard on that one. That was an amazing pull-up jumper Take from Ava to you. bank, Ava. Here's Howard. Just putting up shots like those, no good. Getting a little too trigger happy. And uh, down this much, you maybe have to. Um, just got to try and get anything you can. She's going to put up a floater from the baseline. No good. Um, that will give Viger the ball. Number three, bringing it across half court here. <laughs> Howard will drive in, a hook shot, Chamberlain style, no good. Viger will get the rebound though. There's a layup, that one's good. Oh, finally. I'd say that was, that was definitely a wild shot. I don't know what he was thinking. They're just throwing anything up at this point. Ava Diouf with a three there. No good off the iron. My girl will end up with the ball. Here comes Howard. She'll feed it. Nice layup there. And uh, I think that's we, where we see number 10 from Viger thrive, is, is not putting up crazy shots, but finding the open lady. Just like you said earlier, Russell uh, Westbrook type um, playmaker. Corner three there from Ava. No good. Nice defense from Davidson, but Viger able to hang on to it. Viger with two rebounds. Push on Viger, that'll give Davidson the ball. Just under six minutes left in the game. I would say Davidson is, is good at one thing, and that's definitely blowing out their opponent and just, just, just having fun for the rest of the game almost. Yeah, and I think Davidson's in the bonus now, so she'll get the one and one. And, yeah, Davidson definitely just a dominant force in uh, 7A girls basketball. First half's good. She'll get to take another. And the second one will fall. Nah, I would say I'm really impressed with with uh, Howard's speed. It's it's very like 
cool to see a player move down the court. And she's really shifty. She's also has really good handles. So I give her props for that. Yeah. Here comes the inbound. Howard again just pulling up with a floater there. That one will fall for her. Cristal from the corner, no good. Nice pass. Here's Viger for three, no good. Rebound by Ayler. Here's Barnett for three, no good. Fight for the ball. Davidson will end up with it. Here's Shiana Quinn. She'll pull up. No good. Rebound by Viger. Insane layup there. No good. Almost sunk it. Here's Chiana. Oh, on the fast break. Slipped through her hands. And uh, that's one she'd probably like to have back. Yeah, threw it, threw it a little bit too high. Three and a half minutes, counting down. Davidson continuing to press um, off the inbound. Nice play there from a Jessam. She'll feed it to Diouf. She's going to put up a shot. No good, but she'll get fouled on the way up. This smothering defense has been taking a toll on Viger. Uh, as you can see, nearly up 30 points once again. And Davidson is just controlling this game. And that's what I enjoy about watching the Lady Warriors. They can take control of the game whenever they want. That free throw is good. And we're going to see a lot of new faces coming in for Davidson. And uh, I have not been fortunate enough to have a stat guy this season, even though I've continuously asked for one. <laughs> but I think it's pretty safe to say that Duf has been 100% on her free throws tonight. And you just had the jinx at the end of the show. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put that one on me. <laughs> I'm going to say she's still 100%. As soon as you said it. It's OK, Steven. You, you, can, you can get your stat guy uh, next year when me and Kenyon are gone. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. There's the free throw from Zadia Johnson. No good. Just so everyone knows, ever since Steven said the free throws, all of them have been missed. <laughs> and another miss there. You know, Steven, I'd Davidson on the rebound. I'd appreciate it if you did not jinx our school, you know. <laughs> and it seems like Davidson has just not been able to hit a free throw tonight. So <laughs> I, maybe we'll see that change. I mean, I don't know. And uh, Coach not happy with the two missed free throws. Malden, she'll kick it out. Scott for three. In and out, no good. Here comes Malden on the putback. That one will fall. Nice play. One minute, 50 seconds. Howard will again move to her right, put up a shot. They'll call Davidson for a blocking foul. No, I'd say it looks like Howard's trying to trying to get contact. It's just not working because uh, it's 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 kind of obvious that she's kind of throwing herself forward towards the Davidson players. And I guess the refs aren't going for it tonight. Yeah, like I'm watching NBA ball out there. Here comes the youth. She's gonna feed it all the way across to Quinn. She'll kick it to Scott. That three's no good off the front of the iron. Here comes Howard. Viger will get the ball. Howard will pull up. No good. Rebound by Viger. Cristal racing to get 
excuse me, Ayler. Um, but I think. Uh, uh, 44 seconds and counting. Pull up three there from Viger. Good steal by Ava DeYouth. Like a bullet coming down the court. No foul. That Full body contact there, but they won't call anything. And uh, Viger will get the ball. Not making a lo whole lot of effort to stop the clock here. I think they're just going to let this one run out. Um, 18 seconds left. Well, I can see why, why the refs didn't really call anything. Nice steal by Chiana. Ava is going to get a revenge here, it looks like. Layup's good. 10 seconds left. Vigerl unbound the ball. Two, one. Shots up. And no good. And an amazing game from uh, the Lady Warriors. Um, uh, great show in their senior night. And uh, uh, make sure you stick around as we come back for the boys game. But um, I guess we'll see you guys then.